Yo, a little message to the guys that are watching stream that are also in game. Can we just make it factual that you were talking shit, calling us NNs, but we're almost already winning, and I just made money playing a game you're playing for free? Suck a fucking dick. Yo, what is going on, guys? It's your boy, Tabs, and of course, you guys know that. Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are having an amazing Monday. Today, we're going to be doing a one-tap review. I've never really reviewed a HVH cheat before, so this uh, this will be quite fun to uh, to go over, and it'll probably be one of my longer videos, but I hope you guys enjoy. I will have timestamps all throughout the video, so if you want to go to the description, or they should be in the red bar right below me, uh, what we're going to be talking about here, if you already you don't really care about the visuals, you want to know more about the uh, the anti-aim abilities, uh, or maybe even just the uh, abilities for you know min damage, all that kind of stuff, uh, the exploits and whatnot. Uh, but before this video starts, I, uh, I thought I'd show you guys something funny. So everybody knows that the CSGO hacks Reddit is fucking cancer. And, you know, that's probably something boring and I agree on more than literally the only thing we probably agree on. But uh, I, f I found this funny. This guy posted, I killed tabs were in an HVH game. Like if you look up here, we're winning <laughs> four to two. Uh, but yeah, this guy killed me in an HVH game. And what I find funny about this is this guy got 171 upvotes. Like, I mean, that just shows you like I'm, 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 I'm hated in the community for sure. But what I find funny here is uh, Busy exposed this guy. And, of course, Busy got a bunch of dislikes. Poor Busy. Uh, if you guys were in the stream, this guy fucking rage quit. <laughs> this guy rage quit when we won. I just thought this would be funny to share with you guys. So let's hop right into the review. All right, boys. And now that we are back in this, uh, I do have one tap loaded up here, as you guys can see. Uh, we will start with the legit, although uh, I do not have a config for legit. I did legit with this once. There will be a card above on the right side uh, if you guys want to watch that video. But essentially, I'm using a um, a version of, I think it's Kitten's legit config. So if we load that up really quick here. Uh, the GUI scale changes because uh, his or her config is a little different. Uh, so this is a legit config that was made. We can go through the settings here. Uh, so for general, obviously, aimbot is on, ignore steam friends is off, smoke check is on, reaction time, uh, aimbot activation, you guys can right click on this to have always toggle hold or none. There is trigger bot activation, that would be mouse button five, which would be your side button. And then AA direction inverter, if I were to click F, as you guys can see on the left side, oh, you can't because my webcam is there, I apologize, uh, you will be able to see. Uh, if you follow my mouse right here in the middle of the screen, right here where my, my webcam is, uh, if you can see my mouse, I'll zoom in. That's where all of your activation statuses will be. Uh, I do not know if you can change that. doesn't look like you can. But uh, sorry, my, my webcam will be in the way for this. Moving on from the general tab and legit, there is the aimbot tab. You can set up each gun individually, which I really like. And of course, you can click plus here and add more. Uh, so if we go to the AK, which I have right here, we have head, chest, and stomach. Closest priority, FOV is 1.3. The dead zone is 0 0.04. There is pitch smoothing. So as you can see, the yaw is 74 and the pitch smoothing upper I is 69. Silent aim is on. Silent aim FOV would be 1.10. Of course, for rifles, you really don't need silent aim. So we can test these settings here. As you can see, I mean, it, it does what it has to do. And this is really not supposed to be a legit cheat. So uh, for the options they give you, this is not bad. It is very lethal, as you guys can see, and I uh, I like it. Moving on from the aimbot tab, we do have the recoil. So you guys can see recoil control is set up. You can do each individual gun, or you can do, uh, I think this is just all guns. So enable, standalone, compensate for damage taken, pitch compensation, and yaw. So compensate for damage taken, I believe, is if you do get hit and you do get view kicked, uh, your recoil control system will, um, you know, it will change and it will adapt to that situation and keep the recoil control still holding strong, which is absolutely wonderful. Uh, more cheats definitely need this. The compensation, like just the factor that that is in this is great. I don't think I've seen any other cheat with it. Maybe it's built into other RCS systems, but so far I've only actually seen it as a third-party option in one tap. Moving on from recoil control, we do have trigger bot here. And of course you can do every weapon or general settings. Enable, magnet, auto wall, hit chance, and minimum damage. Now we have ours on mouse button five. So what I'm going to do really quickly is just grab a deagle and I'm going to hold mouse button five. Uh, there you go. Look at that. Now, of course, for this, I think the Deagle does have Magnet. Yeah, as you can see, it has Magnet, and the hit chance is 65. So if we put that up to 75 minimum damage, let's do HP plus 1. So for a better view, here we go. We're going to click this button right here. 3, 2. Perfect. 
line that up for another shot, bring it a little close. And of course we have magnets, so this will lock. And three, two. Moving on from the trigger bot, we do have backtracking. And as you guys can see, you can set it up for each individual weapon, of course. Uh, and then your your overall settings is enable maximum time 200 ms maximum distance 64 u i'm guessing 64 stands for units and then the anti-aim of course you can do anti-aim for legit which i'm guessing uh, if we enable here and extend the angle and the direction arrow uh, you can see that i'm aing to the right in anti-aim here you can you can change your AA inverter of course or your left right back uh directions so you can tie those in i believe and of course i have my AA inverter on uh for F. So I'm going to click that again. As you guys can see, my A inverter is on now. So now I'm pointing left and then click it again. I am pointing right. We do have fake lag here. So you can enable that. You can set your limit all the way up to 14 ticks. Let's say, for example, seven ticks. Your jitter could be 18, 19 trigger. Uh, you can do on peak. Uh, and then while reloading, uh, on peak would be somewhat of an anti trigger. Uh, the trigger limit, you could do maximum nine ticks, for example. Uh, and as you can see, it's not really lagging my game or anything like that. Um, and of course, when someone with trigger bot uh, would be holding an angle and you had on peak on with a good limit and you pushed out to shoot them, there's a good chance their trigger bot will fuck up. So that is the legit tab and we're going to be moving on to the visuals. We'll cover rage last, but of course you guys can go to the timestamps below if you'd like to see more. So moving on to visuals here, we do have ESP, Chams, World, and Extra. In the ESP tab, you do have your self visuals. Uh, so you can turn those on. You can do box, glow, etc. So now that we do have self visuals on, I do want to just go in third person here so you guys are able to see it better. I will move this over to here. And of course, you can do box for your self visual. You can change the color of this so we can go like purple, for example. Uh, there's glow. And if you do your glow a different color, you can change it all here. It's pretty cool. There is name, health, and shot timer. Health color override, which is nice. Uh, you could change the color so that I'm guessing when you get shot, you would see this go down, but it wouldn't be just green. And of course, shot timer, which you'd be using for HVH. For here, you can see the weapon, icon, name, and inventory. So if we click on icon, we can see down here, it's very small. I'd have to change the color of that for sure. There is name and inventory. You could have all three of these on at once. And of course, ammo to see how much ammo I have and flags, lag, compensation, money, armor, flash, reloading, scoping, diffusing location, and bomb slash hostage carrier. And of course, from before, you can see my legit anti-aim on. So in this case, X is my third person key, as you can see. So we're going to go back into first person here and just open up the menu once again. Uh, and we're going to be looking at a bot. Let me line myself up actually so that a bot is directly in the screen that you can look at. For enemy visuals, we could do boxes, of course, glow, name, health, health color override. So again, so white is here. We could do red. We could do this color, for example. And if we shoot them, you'll see that it will go down. And then, of course, we have skeleton, health override color, basically everything that you saw originally. And of course, the flags. So uh, it's basically the same visuals for self. And then, of course, your friendly visuals, all the same. Not too much going on there. And of course, if we go to chams here, I'm just going to turn off a name really quickly and uh, health on this guy. We go to chams, and of course we have the configured model. We have visible attachments, desync, fake leg, arms, and weapons. Now, if you change this, for example, to attachments, you will get all of your overrides here, and then your arms, you can do different color arms. So for example, we have visible, visible material override. We are using glow. There's glow two color. We'll do pink and teal. So you can see that there is like a mix of colors here. Other colors would definitely come out clearer. I would say that you're going to want to go with something uh, a little lighter. But uh, you get the idea, though. Of course, there's custom, flat, pulse, wireframe, glow, glow 2 color. Custom, I'm not too sure what that does exactly. But, of course, there is, like, pulse, for example, wireframe, uh, flat. And then, of course, if you go over here, there also is your teammates and then, of course, your material properties. So you can change the reflectiveness, the pearlescent, and the fong. So if I go over here to enemies, and rather than flat, we do... Custom, material color, ragdoll chams. Uh, we can change this to white, for example, or not even. We can go like green and then go here to the reflectiveness. You can change how reflective it is. You can change the pearlescent, as you can see, and then the fong, which I'm guessing is like the inner glow of it. So you can make some really cool chams out of this. As you can see, that looks pretty dope. And of course, I believe you can go to enemies here, and if you change this color, it will adapt. So we can get some like nice, cool purpley chams purpley pinkish chams here, almost like a, a cotton candy style. And then moving on from chams, we do have world, which obviously we'd have night mode, which is scalable wall transparency. So you can change the transparency of walls, prop transparency. So you could see through the props, uh, weather, there is rain, particle rain and particle snow skybox. You can change it to overcast. Uh, you can go all the way down. My favorite is night purple. So you get a nice night purple skybox here. I'm going to open up this right here. 
Uh, we can walk out really quickly and then take a look at that. That's everyone's favorite skybox, I feel. So with our menu open, once again, uh, we do have ambient light, so you can change the lighting uh, of the walls or just in general the game. Uh, you could even make your own custom dark night mode with this, although it's really not useful. Fulbright, ragdoll gravity, ragdoll force. So if I were to kill someone here... And then moving on from there, we do have our bombs. So you can change the bomb color, the bomb text, the glow, the icon, the timer, and grenades. You can do the same. You can change the prediction line color, the prediction radius, the on click, the grenade prediction, fire radius color, fire radius color for enemies and friendlies so that you can distinctly see which was which, and obviously the grenade color, and you can see the text glow, icon timer, and fire radius. Moving on from that, we do have the hostage and the hostage color. You can do text or circle, and then weapons, weapons glow, and then the weapon glow color. So if I drop my gun right here, you will see that it is glowing blue. Moving on from world to extra, we do have removals, but we're going to start up here. We have dormant ESP, shared ESP, visible only ESP, footstep ESP, and hold firing animation. Moving on from that, we do have radar, radar reveal, FOV arrows, arrow distance, arrow size, and then arrow options. You can do grenade warning, health-based colors, and then weapon icons. And then for here, I'm not too sure which one, uh, like what the name is for this one, but this is still in visuals in the extra. We have hit marker, bullet impact client side, bullet impact server, bullet tracers, weapon recoil, weapon spread, taser range, knife range, force crosshair, auto wall crosshair, and auto wall dot. Moving on to the removals, we do have smoke, flash, scope, visual kick, visual punch, scope time, landing bob, and fire. We also have disable post processing, disable fog, disable cascade shadows, disable blood splatter. Don't know why you'd want that. And disable teammate drawing. And moving on from visuals, we do have the miscellaneous section here. And of course, for the first option here, we do have view. And this is visual interpolation, so you can change this one. Your field of view, your override FOV while scoped, your third-person distance, which, as you can see, if I change this, it will change my actual view distance. The third-person while spectating, disable third-person with grenades, and then your zoom factor, and of course, free cam. This is more of your camera modifications. So if we go down here, this is actually like your view perspective, your FOV uh, so we do have a flip knife hand, visualize silent angles, view model FOV, X offset, Y offset, Z offset, and roll. Uh, that's, for example, like if you're holding your weapon, right, and you want to do it sideways, that would be your roll. Uh, and then obviously your X, Y, Z would be your orientation of where your gun is, up, down, left, right, etc. Uh, so, and then obviously forward and back. Uh, moving on from there, we do have helpers. So, of course, there's watermark at the top right. You guys will see one tap tabs or a local server ping zero. Show key bind states, which would be on the left side, which I was talking about, where you'd see what is what is on and what is off. Show spectators, extended backtracking, auto bomb diffuse, auto fire, and auto fire delay. Moving on from that, you do have a server region picker. So, of course, you can do all Australia, France, Germany, uh, Luxembourg, or um, I, I, if I'm saying that wrong, I apologize, but uh, Poland, Netherlands, Spain, Sweden, United Kingdom, Dubai, China, Hong, uh, Hong Kong, India. India, Mumbai, and uh, I think the other one says Chani or Chennai. I I don't know. Japan, Philippines, Singapore, USA, 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 USA. A lot of USA. Brazil, Chile, Peru, South Africa, and Down Under. Down Under. Okay. <laughs> reveal hidden CVARs. Auto match except reveal matchmaking ranks. Bypass inventory lock. Bypass SV underscore pure and preserve kill feed, and then obviously clan tag changer. And then obviously buy bot is right below that. You can choose your primary, secondary, and utilities, and then sound, on kill, mic spam. You can do the hit sound, arena switch, headshot, or do a custom sound, kill sound, arena switch, headshot, hit, custom sound, weapon sound volume, footstep sound volume, and other game sound volumes. And then moving on from there, there is the movement. So you can do leg movement, force slide, avoid slide, default, Accurate walk, fast crouch, fast stop, strafe assistance, crouch in air, auto bunny hop, and then auto strafe. You can do legit normal directional rage. And then, of course, the skin changer. So you can change your player model, your knife model, your gloves, and your rare animations. And then below that, you can change via the weapons. So if I go in first person here again and move the menu over, uh, we are going to go weapon. We are going to type in, uh, our, it's already here, Desert Eagle. You can change the wear, the seed, the stat track, and then the paint kit. You could either search or go for yourself. So we're going to type in uh, Blaze. Boom. And as you can see, it forces it. Player model, you can change. So instead of two times McCoy, we could do, uh, let's say, uh, Dragomir. And then knife model, we could do a gut knife. And then hand wraps, we could do driver gloves. You'll be able to see that our player model has changed. And then, of course, there's one more option in the MISC section, and that is keys, where you can do your key assignments, edge, jump, auto peak, third person, zoom, free cam, etc. And as you guys can see, you can also right click on these, hold, toggle, or always. Uh, so for third person, if I want to change that to hold, 
and then I close the menu here and then I put my hand on X when I hold it, let go, hold it, let go, hold it, let go. This might be useful for peeking a corner. You want to see where someone is. You're about to go and peek this guy. You want to make sure he's not over a box while legit cheating. You click that button. You can see over the corner. Go back and boom, motherfucker dead. So there is one more section here that you don't really see here that, uh, I mean, when I first got the cheat, I was a little confused with. Uh, and it's right here. You click on your name. You have your cheat here. You can do your GUI scaling, rage quit, which will just, I think it turns off your game or it just uninjects. It's one of them. Restrictions, anti-untrust, anti-smack. Log outputs, so your event log, your console, uh, and then log events, so damage received, damage rejected, spreads misses, or spread misses, hostage taken, damage dealt, and then you can change the log color. So, for example, if I kill someone, you'll see at the top left, hurt aim bots for 289 damage in the head. Your configuration here, which you'd save your configs, and then your scripts, uh, which... There are paid scripts and there are free ones. Thankfully, I was given a bunch of scripts for free, so I haven't paid for them. So I want to say thank you to you guys that did that. A lot of them were from members, so thank you guys. Thank you guys for being awesome. Of course, you have your JS keybinds, which would be your JavaScript keybinds. Uh, so moving on from there, this is where everyone wants to know what's goody in the hood. I'm going to load up my config really quickly. So my config is not available because my config is heavily reliant on some scripts that are not public. And uh, the only reason... I do not share it with people is because it's not going to be good without these scripts and these scripts were given to me and asked not to be shared. So that is the reason I do not give out my config. Only reason. So I click on tab again, click load, click confirm. You will see my config is just going to start to take over. With that off, you guys can see my config loaded. This is the one that I use on all my streams. Uh, so... With this loaded here, you guys will see the GUI scale has changed a lot. Just for this video uh, like review, I'm going to turn the GUI scaling to 125 just so it's easier for you guys to see. Honestly, we'll go 150 just so it's easier for you guys to see the Rage tab. So we're going to start in the general section, uh, and this is your general settings for your enable for your Rage, your silent aim, team check, ignore Steam friends, your key assignment, Rage bot activation is always going to be on, resolver override, you can set this to a key. Force body aim, set it to a key. Force safe, uh, safe point, dodge brute force, wait for on shot backtrack, override minimum damage, and valve fake duck. Uh, valve fake duck is a script, and override minimum damage, I believe, is also a script. I don't think one tap has an override minimum damage built into the cheat. They might, and I'm going to tell you this right now. I looked for it. I couldn't find it. Everyone on my stream was telling me they didn't have it, so I'm just going based off that. Moving on from general to targeting, you do have your all weapons, and then, of course, your the weapons that you're going to want to customize. So for Scar, for example, I'm using a 180 FOV, minimum damage of 35, uh, disable auto walls off. My hitboxes are all checked, except for the arms, uh, and then my multiple hitboxes are checked as well, everything other than the arms. The head point scale is set to 75, and the body is 38. I am not somebody that is like crazy about setting this kind of stuff up. So don't judge me. I'm not an HVH or uh, this is my first review on like an HVH sheet. I never reviewed Skeet or anything like that because again, I'm not somebody that thinks they're good at HVH. I'm just starting to get into it. So if you guys have any suggestions for, you know, what I should do, let me know because I'm learning uh, to build this config based on a little bit of help from viewers and also what I find works. So for targeting, we can go, for example, I have the scout in my hand. Usually, whatever gun you have in your hand, oh, I do not have the scout in my hand. Usually, whatever gun you have in your hand, this will pop up, uh, and it'll be at the very top. But, uh, for example, if I take the scout out, you guys can see my minimum damage is 55. My uh, field of view is 180. I have my hitbox is on, my head point scale, and my body point scale for scout. If I go to accuracy here, you can see your overall accuracy for all guns that do not have their own setup uh, little config here. So, if I go over to the scout, you'll see my hit chance is 83. Auto scope is on. Auto stop is on. My auto stop mode is on early and force accuracy and prefer safe point, prefer body aim are both off. So that's how you'd set up accuracy and hit chance for all of those weapons. Moving on to exploits, we do have hide shots and double tap. Now, if you want double tap to work in MM, you do have to disable all safety. Uh, you cannot have anti untrust on and you cannot have um, anti smack on. You have to have no restrictions and you have to have your speed on reliable. Uh, that is the only thing I've noticed. As long as your speed is on reliable, double tap will work for MM and wingman. Uh, and that's a little tip for those who don't know or those who are looking to get an HVH cheat. Now, my options for that is instant double tap and break lag compensation and fake flick. I do not have anything on other than that. For my keybinds, my double tap is on mouse three. Hide shots is always on. 
And for anti-aim, I am using pitch down, slide fast. And of course, you can see the key assignment here, left direction, back, right, mouse direction, AA direction, jitter, slow walk, and fake duck. Uh, and now if we move on from that, we can do at targets, your yaw offset, your jitter, auto direction, manual direction, mouse direction, and in air mode. Uh, you can change that from normal to spin. And then of course, your other options here are fake angles, jitter on move, on shot desync, hide real angles, avoid overlap, fake desync, lower body yaw mode. I have it set to sway. Um, I'm still working on my anti-aim. That's one thing that I, I don't think is the greatest. Although I do get, I do get dumps from some people, but not from very many. Inverter flip conditions are on none. Moving on from anti-aim, we are going to go to fake lag. And of course, you can see I have it enabled. My limit is set to 14 ticks. My jitter is set to 10. My triggers are in air, on peak, break lag compensation, and my trigger limit is 14 ticks. Anti-brute force is on on shot. And HVH essentials, I mean, these are things that you guys won't have, which are the JS scripts that I use, are anti-brute force. I have it on on shot. HVH essentials, I have it on reverse freestanding. Uh, I do have instant double tap, instant recharge. Minimum damage is 10 uh, for the min damage key. Indicators, draw head slash B aim flags, draw safe flags, draw danger signs, draw predicted damage. Uh, and of course, I have uh, enable head and B aim conditions, force head shot conditions I don't have on at the moment. Inaccuracy, desync delta is at 38. Force B aim conditions if lethal. Force safe point conditions is off. Uh, jump scout and revolver hit chance is 30 and override no scope hit chance is also 30. And then one thing that everybody has been asking me for, which I cannot give, uh, is specs fake duck, which is his valve fake duck, which works in MM and wingman. So yeah, this is the max duck height essentially. Um, so I can't share these sadly, uh, although I'd like to, like you guys can see my config. It's like not anything crazily special, uh, but obviously having those JS scripts does make it kind of nice. But uh, yeah, anyways, that has been my little overview of one tap. And I have to say, I'll have some some clips after this from streams. In my opinion, based on what I've gone off of, based on being a person that is not very good at HVH and is just learning spots, just learning how to play. I would say the fact that I'm still able to tap somebody without a lot of knowledge, I'm still able to tap cheats like never lose. I'm still able to tap skeet users. I'm still able to tap other one tap users. I would say for a public cheat, it's probably the best rage cheat. I've never used anything like never lose, so I can't really say. I'm just going based off experience on, on you know, the streams that I've done. Uh, it's definitely a lot better than most public cheats. It's definitely going to beat cheats like Zapped. It's definitely going to beat cheats uh, like Rift. I've, like, I hate to say it because I really like Rift, but yeah, one tap just holds it down. Uh, I've just really had a good time. One tap has made HVH fun for me. Every rage cheat needs Lua's now. And I think one tap is better than Game Sense, but I'll tell you why. It's because Game Sense isn't being updated at the moment. I'm sure once it's updated, it'll become good again. But I will say this no rage cheat these days is good by itself, no matter what you're going to need Lua's. And as you guys can see, I'm using a lot of scripts as it is. I'm using uh, Vote Kick Checker, Fake Duck, uh, HVH Essentials, Chams, which is just. Um, Better Glow, Bloom, Brute Force. Like, I've got a lot of them loaded. You know what I mean? And and these are things that help me win HVHs. So I can't say that the cheat by itself is amazing, but my experience with it has been great. And, you know, this is the only cheat that I have actually, other than Game Sense, paid money for myself. Usually a sub will give me, um, you know, sub time, uh, or a viewer, a member will give me access to a cheat. Or when someone pays for a review, I will get a free sub. I wasn't paid for this video. One tap doesn't need anything. As far as I'm, I'm aware, one tap was a private and then came public and then just blew up. Like one tap is a million dollar business. Um, so I, I think that uh, just going based on me wanting to make this video, uh, just because it's my first ever HVH review, like HVH cheat review, I would say it's worth it. It's the only cheat that I would pay twenty euros for myself. I paid thirty six dollars or thirty four dollars Canadian to get a sub to this cheat for a month. And if I'm doing that as one of the biggest Jews in the cheating community, yeah, I, I, I'd recommend it. And if that isn't enough proof that I think that one tap is, is the best, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. You clearly don't know tabs. But let's hop into some clips. I know they're not going to be amazing. But um, yeah, I'll give you an idea of you know how I play with it, my shitty play style. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you on the next one. Later, bros. Peace. He's trying to flank. This guy's AA is really good. Yeah, zero guy? Yeah.
You just killed me. Can I fun, I think. slow walk him? Oof, bro. My R8 config just too good. Okay, <laughs> Game sense user fucking rip. Oh shit. Got this. Oh, my man was manualing you. It's all good. Nice. <laughs> Fuck. Let's quick beat this guy. Never mind. I shouldn't have done that, yo. He wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. I'm going to hold my min damage key so when he crosses, if he crosses, I'm just going to be fucking baming toes, dude. What? What? How? What happened? Are you hitting him? Yeah. How? From oh. that corner, you can shoot. That's what the fuck? Yeah, fucking one. Oh, you're using fake duck? That's cute. Oh, are you shooting fake, bro? Shooting fake? You shooting fake? And I figured I'd leave you guys off with an actual wingman game here. Uh, this guy was talking a lot of shit, and, uh, well, he couldn't fuck. put his money where his mouth was. They're tryharding and taunting a chat. I don't really care. If if I have some if I go against people that are like, oh media, media, I mean like, dude, you're gonna post me in media, use my name in like the fucking video. Like, thanks for the fucking Google CEO, dude. But uh yeah, it's not that crazy that you killed someone that doesn't HVH. <laughs> that's your that's your cheat doing that? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were manualing. I'm just wasting his time. This guy's in your camera quality's ass. Bro. <laughs> uh, when kid's watching 360p. What up, Boris? Do you have nades? Get them out of their bitch spots. One dead. Play smart. I'm coming. Go. Go around, go around. I'm still going to hell. You have bomb. Just go to site. I'll nade him out. Hey. Get a molly? Lol. Yep. We're gonna need two. Hold on. He hit me. He's naded out. He's naded out. We can get to site. Not nice. Bury me with all my ice on. Out again. You need with another ten dollar dono says fine here. I appreciate it, my guy. All right, what are we doing? Find nades and mollies. Yep. We do the same shit. Switch blades. Cocaine. Don't peek. Oh shit, let's go. Black coat. Yo, a little message to the guys that are watching stream that are also in game. Can we just make it factual that you were talking shit calling us NNs, but we're almost already winning, and I just made money playing a game you're playing for free. Suck a fucking dick. Slow walking. One. Get fucked. Who's an NN now, bitch? GG though. 